Yeah, little is a delusional lobo here. I hope you guys are doing swell today. Now, for today's video, what I'm going to be showcasing is exactly how side ducking is used with Steve. Now, the way I play with Steve is very much how I would tend to play with Yoshimitsu, where it, whenever I get the opportunity, I will try to use my back threes and back fours. So I would use my three and four to side duck around the opponent, so that way I can then go and punish him accordingly if I need to. The issue with Steve is that I see that when players ask me, okay, how do you play Steve exactly? How do you go about side ducking the opponent? Well, whenever you're going for strength, let's say you're going for one to one and doing a side duck or whatever, right? This is not actual mix up. This is fake mix up. The reason why it's fake, that even if it on hit, if you use the move and go into a side duck, your mind is fixed. Now, in the case of one, one, two, you can actually go into your side ducks and beat the opponent. I already have the dummy enable to attack me with a crouch jab so that way you can see that they can attempt to attack me right afterwards now the issue is is that when they're blocking you that attempting to do anything while side ducking the opponent is not a good idea as you can see a simple crouch jab just beats you from attempting to go for a side duck into any attack this includes the right side as well. Doesn't matter if you're side ducking to the left side or to the right side. However, if you're entering from, let's say, a stance, let's say you're going into peekaboo stance, or you're going into flicker stance, you can actually cancel out of them into your side ducks, but they will work exactly as they're intended. That they have evasion, they have movement. Unlike when you're going into your attacks, your strings, that you have almost no movement. You can still get hit out of them. So let's say, for example, I were to use one to one and I attempted to go into peekaboo stance. You see that I'm able to evade the crouch jab. And if I do it while not trying to go into it, well, in this case, it's a little bit of push block. So let's just do it a little closer. See, I can't get away and I try to attack. But from a stance, you see that it actually evades the move. So the way you play Steve, if you want to make a particular read on the opponent that they're going to use an attack of some kind, especially if it's linear, if it's a homing move, you're going to get hit. Unless it's high homing move, there's a chance that by side ducking to either side, that it has a bit of high crush. So you're able to actually evade certain high homing moves. So as long as you know what you're doing with Steve and you're trying to go for certain attacks against the opponent, you can still stop them. For example, again, his infamous back one, if you don't cancel out of your flicker stance when you're entering into your back ones into flicker, you can then immediately block it. But if you don't, you'll get hit. But if you don't want to do that and you think they're going to go for maybe a crouch jab, maybe a one, two, one or whatever the case is they may go for, you can simply just go for your side ducks. You can also do this while you're in Minehard stance as well. You don't have to just simply do it from Flicker stance or from Peeky Boo stance. You can do it from your Minehard stance and then still cancel out of your ducks and they will work exactly as, as they're intended to be used. So to summarize, don't use your side ducks when you are attacking them with certain strings. So one, two, ones, don't use them. When you're going into one, one, two, don't use them. You're going to get hit. You see? It's not going to work. That's why when you want to stay safe, when you're trying to duck them, the opponent, from a string, you're gonna be doing it while you're going into a duck in, not side ducking. So that way you're able to then beat the crouch jab. And if they do attempt to go for, let's say, a standing jab of some kind, you can still beat them with that as well. You just simply have to then duck in from the attack and then crouch down back. To then cancel out of the duck in and then just stand back up and then hold back that way you'll be able to then stop them from attempting to then attack you right afterwards this is exactly how you play against the opponent if you see that they're going to do something let's say you want to go for i don't know you do this and then you cancel out of it immediately you want to go into let's say your hmm, you want to go to back one you want to cancel it do that of course you can just cancel it but somebody just doing down and that's it you don't have to go immediately into a duck in from your flicker stance because flicker stance is going to be canceled immediately given simply just crouching down. You don't have to then go into flicker and then go into duck ins and then cancel duck ins into a down back crouch into a full back standing. So that is the way how you basically side duck with Steve. You just do them from stances 
So whenever you got an opportunity to go into a stance to say from T1 into flicker, oh, I can then go and use my side ducks. Do I use my forward T1 into peekaboo? Same thing, I can escape. As long as I enter into a stance from a string, I have better movement, I have better evasion. As long as they don't use a move that has really good homing, and then it's an example, let's say Feng Wei's back four, if you were to use that, you would actually still get hit by the move because it has tremendous amounts of tracking. So even if you go into flicker stance right here, or in this case, I say flicker stance, my bad, peekaboo stance, and you want to then escape by using either your three or your four to side duck away, Feng Wei can still hit you with back four. So consider that to be a homing move. But anything else in the game that has any level of bad tracking, then you can just simply escape by simply side ducking away. So that is all. The video is short, I know, and there might be a lot more stuff that you can do with Steve, but the whole idea of the video is to showcase that you're better off going into your side ducks when you're entering into stances. Don't use them when you're trying to go into strings that don't go into stances, because that's the most likelihood of getting punished by the opponent with a cross jab, which is his best means of beating Steve when you're trying to stop them from attempting to go for side ducks when they're not in stance. But you can still attempt it if you want to, just that a lot of players at higher levels, they know that they can simply beat it by cross jabbing you. So if you liked the video, give the video a like, dislike if you want to, subscribe to see more of my shit, and if you want to join the Delusional Army, you know, become a member if you want to, join me, and if not, that's fine. So stay tuned, stay safe.